Can you see it now? A pack of drones swirling above you, communicating with each other over Wi-Fi. Well, researchers from the Naval Postgraduate School in California are working on a project that would allow 24 drones to, quote, work together, behaving as one. Doesn't that sound awesome, Nick? It does. Um, they've loaded this drone they call flying, it's a flying wing, onto what looks like a giant slingshot to ultimately get the drones to swarm. Now, the swarming means a large collection of aerial robots working together. We actually have a quote from the man working on this. He says, in our context, swarming means a large collection of aerial robots working together to do something meaningful or interesting. Now, that's the part that really concerns me, Nick, mm -hmm. because meaningful and interesting. What he believes is meaningful. A, a swarming pack of, of drones that are, that are talking to each other. I can only imagine where this is going. Um, of course, they're not saying that this is going to police anybody. It's just a little problem project they're working on, but, uh, you know... I'm so why does it freak you out, first off, before we get into it, why does it freak you out? <laughs> Other than the fact that it's 24 drones buzzing like a swarm, uh, potentially having the ability to police. Right. I, I just don't like that. We, we, we aren't. I mean, that's why a lot We're of people... We're moving towards this. We are moving in that in that direction of, you know, surveillance drones being above our cities, surveilling us and watching us. And, and, and a lot of people aren't easy because the first thing you, you think about is uh, 1984, George Orwell, Big Brother is watching everything you do. How are you going to act right when you're just walking down the street and there might be an eye on you? So I can understand why people are, are kind of freaking out about that. I get it. I mean, no, sort of. no kidding. Now, this is how this works. Um, the drone soars up into the air. It settles into a race pa a racetrack pattern. You actually can't see them because they're up so high, but you can hear them swarming Ooh. like a pack of buzzing bees. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of freaky in and of itself. And then it says um, the buzz grows louder as they settle into a r this pattern, and uh, they begin to talk to each other. And how freaky is that? You can't see them. You can only hear them, and you know they're coming. I mean, well, you always talk about how freaky drones are, and people are always thinking, like, ah, it's a new thing, and, and then we don't know how, where it's going to go. The same thing with robotics. People are always skeptical. Oh, God, they're going to take over. Right. Oh, look, we talked about the Terminator robot that Russia's developing. I, I get mean, it. But we're still in the infancy of this, and, and look, people are only thinking about the bad things can, that can come from it. What about the good things that can come from it? Like I think what? it's awesome. I don't know. In Shanghai, before Amazon was talking about it, they had this company that was that was um, airlifting cakes and delivering cakes with drones. I think the that's beer awesome. Airdrop at the concert. That's what they're doing with these. Yeah, exactly. But look, for example, if we're going to go back to surveillance, though, look at London, for example, or other cities in England. They have cameras everywhere in the public watching people, and they don't do it just to spy on people. They're doing it to see if something bad happens. Now they delete the, the footage later, but if something does happen they can always go back and review, and they don't check it unless something does happen, so they're not really spying on you. But in America, we have this whole feeling of, you know, well, given that this country's built on that idea of freedom, then when, when, you, when you put surveillance drones in the, in the equation, or cameras even, it's it freaks people out. And then it's like, you can't do that, you're taking away my rights. I mean, this is a country that's built on freedom and, and liberty. The and, right and, to and privacy. Exactly. There's an aspect, but, there's an understanding in the American psyche that you have a basic right to privacy. You don't want a pack of 24 buzzing drones over you, staring at your every mood, also doing God knows what. They could attach, I mean, when did they start attaching bullets and weaponry? I mean, does that ever happen? Oh yeah, there, there was just that viral video again that, that had that handgun, that semi automatic That's right, we cover that, was, that on the left. Right. So yes, but look, I understand why people are, are, are worried. It can go in that direction. It's scary. Anyway, we'd love to know what you think at home about this. Aerial robots working together in unison, buzzing like a pack of bees. Are you for it? Log on, post those comments about this story. While you're at it, be sure to check out the rest of our channel and, of course, subscribe to the Lip TV 2 for more.